Hi, my name's Nick. I'm talking about social media. One of the things I love about social media is being able to keep track of my family. We're all on Facebook, uh, but we all live far away. So it's nice to be able to keep tabs on them. But I use it me sparingly, just once or twice in a three-month span, uh, mainly because being 27, uh, when I was growing up on the internet, uh, everyone was just a nameless asshole. <laughs> uh, you never took anyone very seriously because if they weren't standing in front of you, they could say whatever they wanted to. There's no fear of retribution. No one's taking them, you know, you're not really thinking you're going to get in trouble for saying anything. But today, people live online. If someone says something to them on Twitter or Instagram or Tumblr, uh, they take it very personally because that's where their social interactions are and just not something that I, growing up I would have taken seriously at all. And people still act online with vitriol when they think they can get away with something. Uh, for me, I just ignore them because I've always ignored them. But now that we have a culture that's very ingrained in being online, um, opposed to even 10 years ago, uh, people, it, it's real to them. And if it's real to them, it causes them real pain and suffering. And the online environment is just as toxic as it was then as it is now, except for everyone takes it much more seriously now. Now, that's the one thing that, you know, it's nice that we're all able to interconnect and talk to each other, but it's absolutely horrible what it does to, like, I don't want my daughter online <laughs> when she grows up, because if she's going to take this stuff seriously, it's going to just, you know, it's something to weigh down on her. Um, it scares me a lot, so uh, that's what I would say f I fear of social media the most.